Hey, buddy. Yeah, I love you. Good Friday morning. I am just right now uploading uh, this morning's video so I can start editing it for Saturday. Should be a great weekend. It is a beautiful day, although it's supposed to get really hot still. wonder when fall is coming. Uh, so let's get started on some work today. It is Saturday morning. Yes, I'm not saying good Saturday morning because last night, twice, well, maybe three times, the smoke alarm went off and I replaced the battery uh, thinking that it was the battery, replaced it, then replaced it again and it seems to have been that the, it was the batteries for whatever reason. I remember this happening last year about this time so I had to replace the batteries twice and now everything's back but I'm very tired because we didn't get a whole lot of sleep because it would wait like an hour before it went off again so I'm sure I'll take a nap today, but we are very tired here. So one of the things which has always driven me crazy is the fact that we teach people less and less on how to do things for themselves. That's why my original channel started, was to teach people how to do things for themselves, and for some odd reason, people don't want to. Oh, it's so hard, it's so difficult. Well, okay, the less we do for ourselves and the more we rely on other people to do for us, the bigger problems that we have. Uh, we want to take people who are making, you know, no money, that sort of thing, put them into these tiny little houses, no yards to grow vegetables, no yards to do anything, no place for their kids to play, and we think that this is a good solution. No, it's not a good solution. We used to be a nation that actually made stuff and did stuff and, you know, produced stuff, and now we're a nation that relies on other people. I personally think that that has to stop, and that's one of our big problems, is the fact that, you know, nobody's doing anything for themselves. What do you do? I mean, when you consider, like I said, I've been watching a lot of the Edwardian farm and the Victorian farm and the fact that these people worked all day long, which yes, I realize that they worked way too much, but they worked all this time and then they had, you know, there wasn't as much free time to get in trouble and they also had, hey, look, I, pr I made this myself, or do you like this? I made it myself. That sort of pride in what they did and now what we have is, hey, look, I bought it all by myself in a store cool nifty far out um, that's I think is one of our big problems is the fact that we no longer make anything and once we start getting back into the the whole processes of making stuff or taking even if we don't make the very essential raw materials if we take you know a few things put them together to make something I think we'll be happier. I think we'll the, our, most, some of our problems will decrease. So, yeah, I'm really trying to push for the whole let's make things ourselves. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe this is just a full, whole foolish idea. But it's worth a shot, right? Good Sunday morning. A bright and sunny Sunday morning it is. Uh, I had Chibli out for her walk already. It is really nice and cold somewhere down in the 50s. Uh, we are expecting rain on Monday. That'll be nice uh, because it's going to really drop down the temperature. In fact, I think on Wednesday, the temperature is only supposed to be 70 degrees. Today, I am volunteering again like I do just about every Sunday. And other than that, who knows what we'll do. Let's get started. Hey, it is Monday morning, September 26th, I do believe. Uh, so, what am I doing today? Today might be a recording day, but Chablis is not doing well. She did not eat well last, well, yesterday, well, not real well the day before. Uh, so we're keeping an eye on her, so we'll have to see how that goes, and that will dictate what I'm going to do with my day. So I'm going to see if I can get her to go outside right now. She has been going outside pretty regularly. But other than that, she's not really been doing much, so we will see. I'm glad I thought about this right now. So we are going to go outside because there is a storm coming, which is supposed to drop the temperatures significantly. And I was going to record this outside, you know, with the whole, I'm outside, but then I'm realizing, hey, it's really windy. You'd never be able to hear a single word I was saying. So let's go outside now and look at the wind and everything. I say all that, and it's not as windy as I thought it was, but it probably still is windy. I will be the first to admit it is a very dark day, very gray outside. However, 
the temperature drop is significant, and we haven't even hit the major temperature drop yet. Uh, on Wednesday, it's supposed to be 69 degrees. That's a big drop from 80, so that'll be nice. Well, I think what we're going to do right now is read. So I'm going to sit here and do some reading, because I actually have my editing done for the whole entire week right now. That makes me happy. Hey, buddy. So we've been talking a lot about this today, Mom and I. I don't know how much longer Chablis is going to last because she's not getting around well. I don't know what's going on with her, so we're going to see how well she does in the next couple of days and take her to the vet. Then, all of a sudden I bring Faith over and suddenly she's up and barking and chasing each other around, so I don't know what's going on, but yeah, she is not doing real well, but... She's trying to hang in there. It is Tuesday morning, another morning. Chablis has made it through the night fairly well. Uh, she still isn't eating like I would like her to, but she is eating. Um, so I don't know what today is going to be like. She's getting around fairly well for an old dog, pretty stiff and everything. So that's a good sign. Um, so we'll take it from there. Okay, so in case you've been wondering where I've been in this video, because I have no idea how long this one is, because it is Tuesday night, Chablis has not been doing well whatsoever. She rarely gets up. She's barely eating. Um, we have an appointment for the vet at 2.30 tomorrow, but I am not real hopeful on this because we've gone through this before. She moans a lot, so... We'll see how tomorrow goes, but she does not look like she feels very good. So I don't know what's going to happen, so that's why you haven't seen me, because I've been spending most of my time taking care of her. Okay. So I have no idea if I've said that it is Wednesday morning. We have the vet appointment at 2.30 today. She still is barely eating. Uh, hardly will walk outside now. Whine, she's whining a lot. I'm talking about Chablis. Um, I mean, it's inevitable now, so we are getting prepared for that, and it's really rough. I mean, she's been a really, really, really good dog. We've gone through this six months ago, and now we're going through it again. I mean, she could snap out of it like she did then, but we will see. So, I wasn't going to record this, but it is a part of life. We put Chablis down today. And yeah, my heart is breaking. I am a mess. An absolute solo mess. <sighs> but I know she's better off. I know things will get better. And right now, I mean, the reason I'm doing this is because I know a lot of people go through this. And it is so hard. And people say, well, it was just a pet, but it wasn't. I mean, it's something I, someone I've had for 16 years. I think 14. <laughs> And this is really hard, but I mean, she's better off now, so yeah. Um, I'll try to get back and do more for the rest of the week, but right now, I'm like vacuuming and crying and vacuuming, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay. Now that I'm a little bit better under control, uh, let me tell you some of the history of Chablis. Uh, we had a dog, her name was D.A., and D.A. was probably the smartest dog that we had ever had. D.A. was the most lovable, amazing dog, but she got into something, and then when we took her to the vet, we found out she had pancreatic cancer, and she died within like an hour or so. So, then we swore we'd never get another dog. Then... Um, like in February, no, no, it had to been April or something like that, we got, uh, Chablis. Chablis had a sister named Blythe. Uh, Blythe was mean. Chablis was a rescue pup. Blythe was really, really mean. Like, bit at everybody, bit at Chablis. So we did not keep Blythe. We only went with Chablis. Chablis was always there through thick and thin. So this had to have been... 2003. Oh, well, that explains how old Chablis is. We got her in 2003, so she's 13 years old. Um, so, yeah, we had her through thick and thin everything. I mean, this dog 
but she wasn't the most lovable dog. She wasn't one of these dogs that you pick up and just hug or dress in clothing. She hated that. But she was a lot of fun. And, I mean, she really was, I mean, I'll admit it, she really was my dog. She, like, stayed over here. She would follow me around. And then once I got laid off, she was even more my dog because she would then spend all of her time with me. And we spent all of our time together. And we took her for a ride every night. So, yeah, that's where a lot of this comes from, is the fact that this dog was a dog that was the biggest part of our life. I mean, I make treats for the dog. That's going to be really rough. Luckily, uh, DA, or Sh Faith, eats the treats, but that's going to be really rough because Faith only has one treat. And I'm looking at that, and I have like half a jar full of them, so... Um, right now, I had Faith over here. I showed Faith Chablis collar. Which is right here. She'll please call her. It's not focusing in on that. Uh, get closer to me. There we go. So, yeah. Uh, but I have to remember that Shibli is in a much, much better place. <sighs> luckily, luckily for me, my best friend is coming up on Saturday. Uh, because this is, I did not expect this to be this rough, but it really is, because, I mean, this dog has been with me through everything. Knew my moods, the whole nine yards, knew when to come over, and when to just stay away. Wow. So, I mean, I can understand when people say pets help reduce your stress, help make your life much, much better. I highly recommend pets, and then I highly don't recommend pets for this very reason. Uh, because, like I've said this before, like, children, hopefully you outlive your children. That's basically one's big, or hopefully your children outlive you, sorry. And that's basically one's big goal, is you have kids, and your kids outlive you by years and years and years. Um, your pets rarely ever outlive you, and so this is really hard. And, I mean, for me, I've only lost, we've lost, we had Joya, we had Tanzac, we had Chablis, and we've had DA. Those are the only four pets that I've had. Joya lived to be 20, Tanzac was 22, DA was 8, and Chablis. <sighs> okay, we're doing a lot better right now. One of the weirdest things that I'm realizing right now is the fact that I have never, ever been alone in this house. Like, never. Um, yeah, which doesn't seem like all that big of a deal, but this will be an interesting night because I've never spent the night without the dog here, like ever. In fact, I've never, it's been 13 years since I've actually spent a night anywhere without the dogs. Well, I take that back because I think the dogs, but no, no, most every time we go, I mean, I never leave the house, so that's always a thing, but it's been ages since I have been without a dog, so, mm, that one's going to be really, really rough, but we're getting better. We're, we're, we're doing. Mom's okay. She's got Faith over there, and Faith has been over here a couple times and just doesn't understand everything. But we're getting there. So I never really realized how much I talked to my dog until now, when I'm like now talking to myself all the time. So I guess I'll be talking to you way more often because, well, I talk to her a lot, and I'm still like every once in a while saying something and then realizing that she's not there. The house is so quiet. It is so weird. If I can be 100% honest with you right now, I can honestly say that right now I'm wallowing in my own self-pity and self-doubt. I'm doubting if I made the right decision, was putting her down the right thing. Um, I keep walking into rooms and start to say something to her, and that's really hard. But I know in my heart it was the right thing to do, even though it was really rough. And it's going to take several days. I mean, it's going to take some lots and lots of time to get over this. But yeah, so I mean, that's what I'm doing right now is really doubting what I did and feeling bad. And uh, it's rough. So I'm trying to keep my, my you know, positive vibe going. But we will see. So this horrible day is coming to an end. Uh, just got off the computer, Haven't wasn't really doing anything, I was just looking at YouTube and playing Gin Rummy, not really doing anything. 
Uh, but the minute I got off the computer, my first response was, okay, Shibli, let's go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. So that was rough. Um, no, I miss her. Uh, it's raining, so that's always just <laughs> perfect. Um, so I'm going to go to bed. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Good, what do I say, Thursday, Thursday morning. Uh, well, so, it was an interesting night. There are so many different times when I would get up to, like, do things I would normally do for Shibli, and, you know, it didn't, wasn't necessary. Um... Uh, What's really interesting this morning now is realizing how much of my day in time was filled with doing things for her. And so, like, even these vlogs, like, the first thing I would do is get up in the morning and do the good morning part because I wanted to make sure to get this done before we went out on our walk in case I videotaped something on our walk that would be used and I could keep them all in order. So that's sort of really kind of odd. And like other things where, you know, where you place things, that sort of stuff. So that's going to take some getting used to. But uh, we are up and ready and I'm about ready to have breakfast. I have a load of laundry going, so I guess I have to start my day. So on this rainy Thursday afternoon, I think I'm going to take a nap, because all it's doing is raining and thundering, and I'm tired, so I think that's what I will do, is take a nap. So, it is the last Thursday of September, and I'm out here on my porch, enjoying the end of the evening. Battery's about ready to die. Uh, but it is a quiet evening, and yeah, I had to come out because I kept doing things like moving my shoes around, and that sort of stuff so that the dog wouldn't trip over them. So I came out here just for a few minutes to have some, you know, quiet, peaceful time. Uh, but, gonna go back in, finish unloading the dishwasher, and I don't know what I'll do. It is Friday morning, the end of what I would consider a horrible week, but it is also the end of probably feeling as horrible as I did because I woke up this morning and didn't feel as bad today. Um, I hope that your week has been good. Uh, for those of you who have been worried about me, yeah, I'm doing a lot better today, which is really great. Um, things will go on, things will get happier and all that fun stuff. It's just been a bad week and I appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, if you are following my weight loss journey, I lost a pound, which isn't real surprising there. But yeah, it's been an interesting week. I hope to never ever have to repeat this week. But it is over now, and I hope that you have a good week, and I promise I'll make next week a better week.